I know what y'all want. That's what y'all want, right? What's going on, Smoke Squad? It's your boy Mike with Smoking RT, and we are back with another banger. <laughs> so, um, today we at the workplace. So, what I have set up when I go on lunch is we are going to finish what we started yesterday, which was the debadging. And a chrome delete on the uh, two Hemi badging and the RT badging in which I finished that part up yesterday. So today, what I have planned is we are going to debadge the Dodge and the Charger on the back of that beauty right there. Now, she a little filthy, but we're going to debadge. And I have everything that I need right here today. I have my heat gun, my extension cord because it's not going to reach, of course. I have the goo gone in order to clean up the adhesive once you peel off the badging. And tomorrow, or Thursday, I have something coming in from Amazon. So all of this is being set up for something that's near to come in the next couple of days. Uh, and I'll be doing a video on that too. So right now, without further ado, let's get to it. And we are back. What's going on, Smoke Squad? So, what we have set up here is, you should already know, we got our trusty, dusty fishing line. And let's find a start. Okay, now why would... Where am I tripping? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why you just can't pull it? Why would... Why would they tie it together like that? Oh, okay, I got it. Come on, now. You trolling me. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay, so... I don't know how much of this I need. I would say that should be enough... to do it. And... I don't have any scissors here, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm trying to keep going on to actually melt it off, but I don't know like it's going to take all day, so I'm going to need that right Here we go. So we're gonna start off with the charger in there. I got this on low. I'm trying to mess it up. It's gonna hit a little bit. Let's 
So do you really need the heat though? That's the question. I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up so y'all won't have to sit through this. Basically what I'm doing, I'm just you just pick it up with your finger, man, and pin it. And it seems to be coming off easy. And no, your fingernail will not hurt the plastic or the paint. the glue gone is for. speed this up too.
let's try with the goo gone because this is not working the way that I want it to. So let's get our microfiber cloths. So that stuff will even come off with the glue gun. I'm hoping it do. see I'm guessing the thick pieces of adhesive is still right there so I'm believing that's kind of like hindering it from making smooth contact with removing the um the rest of it so but it's coming off So what's going on y'all we back <clears throat> i had to cut the video like honestly because it was trolling me like it really didn't even want to come off with the goo gone and like i said i've seen other people do it and they had no problems but me that junk did not want to come off and even now nah. what up in my shirt yeah no nah, i ain't make your shirt oh. it's been a week okay and what they got to do anything? Y'all just rolling up on me like y'all gonna do something or something. What's up? Come here. Come here. What y'all gonna do? Hi. Oh, you gonna beat me up, huh? Yeah. Then you never get your shirt made. Hi. What up? Bro, really Can you make bro? me a shirt? Ah, see? Not everybody wants a shirt. See? See? I don't want you one. See? I never said I want one. See, sir? Not everybody want me making a shirt. He just, he just want one. This is your car. 
Huh? Is this your car or somebody else's car? Yeah, it's mine. No, it's somebody else's. Who car is it? Is yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. A few moments later. What's going on, Smoke Squad? We finished doing the uh, debashing of the uh, charger. So, I'm at McDonald's right now trying to get me something to eat, but the line long as heck. And talk about that gas shortage, though. Like, every gas station you go to, the lines is just ridiculous. But I was able to fill up not too long ago at the Shell gas station. So, I'm straight as of right now. How long this gonna last? I don't know. I hope it don't last too much longer. Because if it does, she will be parked, okay? I don't have time to be running out of gas when we don't have any gas. So right now, I'm currently just waiting on this line at McDonald's to move so I can get my food and go home. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. I had a number one. dealership in Duluth because the actual Dodge dealership that I got the car from like they don't even want to work with me like I keep telling them like I'm hearing something that doesn't sound right and it wasn't making that sound like when I first purchased the car so I've been up there two times and they don't even want to actually get in the car to test drive it just to see what I'm talking about I'm telling them like yo it do it when you accelerate not under heavy acceleration like it, it happens on light acceleration i mean it happens on heavy but under light acceleration it does it but they don't even want to get in the car dude like is the check engine light on i'm like no well it don't sound like it it, it don't sound like nothing's out of the ordinary again i told you it does it under light acceleration like when you drive in the car they ain't even want to get in the car to drive it like, dude, if, it, if you not even, you not even considering what the customer is talking about. Like, we just done put all this money on this car, and y'all not even helping me out. Like, this is the second time I've been in y'all service garage. So, I told dude, like, I'm not trying to be an asshole or nothing like that. Those was my exact words. Like, but at the same time, I'm just trying to make sure the car is straight. I bought it brand new with 15 miles on it. Like, come on. The least y'all could do is get in the car, drive it. So y'all can hear what I hear and tell me if I'm tripping or not. Like, because this is my first RT and my first charger, really. And I'm like, I just want to make sure that the car is straight. Like, point blank period. That's it. That's all. Like, can y'all help me with that? But it seemed like they not even trying to help me with that. I'm not even going to call them out on it, you know, um, as far as what dealer it was or, you know. But, I mean, come on, dude. It took for me to call a whole different dealership that's like 45 minutes away for me to even get the words that I wanted to hear. The first thing dude was like was, all right, Mike, when you bring it up here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a technician get in the car, take it out for a test drive to see if he can replicate whatever sound that you're hearing. If he can't replicate that sound that you're hearing, we may have you get in the car and he get in the car with you so he could possibly hear whatever it is that you're hearing. But the only downside is the appointment is not until June the 7th, in which I'm I'm cool with that. But at least I know that another dealer is willing to, to, to help me and listen to what I'm saying and what I'm hearing as far as the car go. Because the dealer that I got it from is like, man, they just sitting on their ass, man. Excuse my French, but... Dude, people put put money into these cars and the money that they put down on these cars. Y'all, y'all gotta do better, man, for real. I don't know if it's because it's RT, like they like, ah, oh, shit, forget it. 
I bet you if I pulled up in a wide body Hellcat or a Hellcat period or wide body scat pack, they probably would have been all over it. But dude, like, all cars should be treated equal, man. <laughs> like, honestly. That's crazy. Did you actually speak to her manager? No, I should it shouldn't have to it shouldn't have to be that way. It shouldn't take for me to have to speak with a manager to actually get the help that I feel I need in the matter. 